Hey, what's going on? Your boy B Bird. Um, just checking with you guys, man. Just so I'm getting up with it. Um, I know everybody was talking about the Breakfast Club, um, with Amaria, um, you know, that girl from, you know, Love Hip Hop, the black Afro Latina. Um, and the kind of like the ignorance of what Charlemagne and Envy, um, displayed to her. Um, um, it was, I don't know, it, I'm not going to really get too much about it, but it was kind of irking to me of how they were very dismissive and they were very ignorant. And some ignorance also is connected with stupidity as well of a question of her race, even though she stated what she was. I mean, it's, I mean you could clearly say she, she, she's black, um, Hispanic or Latino, whatever you want to say, that's a culture. It's not a racial, it's not an ethnic, it's not an ethnic, it's none of that, it's, a, it's just a, it's a culture. Um, it's, it's Hispanic ain't no, bit, uh, no far less than a Creole. And there's many different Creoles around the world. You got English Creoles, you got French Creoles, you got Spanish Creoles, you got Native Indigenous Creoles, you got all type of, certain different types of native of mixtures and blended um, ethnic and racial pe group of people. Um, so, but the evidence is staying clear. Um, um, you know, something I think I, I caught her, um, her, her video. She talked a little bit about it. And, um, uh, I mean, you know, um, the melanin that, that black people normally have and is more of a, is an alkali while people from a European or fair, fair skin have a, um, a sulfur, a sulfur type of base uh, melanin. So that's a it's different types of melanin. Um, but um, the, the thing about it is the, the melanin that she has is morally can be found in that's come from origin out of Africa. So it's clearly let you know she's African. Don't get me wrong. I mean. Um, I know, like, you know, there's a lot of darker skin people. Like, you got the, I, I don't know, the, I, you know, the Aborigines and uh, certain groups of Polynesians and Melanesians. Um, yes, they do have a melanin. It's a little bit different, but the, the core, the core origin roots of their melanin is also in, from Africa. Um, but the thing about it was that Charlemagne and Envy was asking her some stupid ass questions. I kind, I, I was kind. Um, I was turned off about it. Um, I was really, really appalled. Like, you know what? I ain't gonna lie, man, because I've been, I've been really not really fucking with them lately. I haven't really been watching or listening to their shows lately. And they've been, they've been on some bullshit lately, especially Envy. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upset. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, you know, fuck, I ain't disappointed. I mean, I was already pissed off. I never really liked, uh, Charlemagne. So, um, uh, Disappointed ain't really the word. I'm kind of just like, well, damn, is what it is with them. So, um, you know, she's trying to explain the colorism and the division between this, uh, the two shades of uh, melanated people. You know what I'm saying? That stem from basically slavery and colonization. Let's just say, let's just say it. No matter you speak Spanish or English or French or Portuguese, it's, we all origin out of slavery. So that's something that you need to, you know, black people need to get over. You can't justify who's black. If, if that's the root cause, then shit, black people, then the Aborigines are black, the Hawaiians are black, the fucking uh, Filipinos and Indonesians are black. Or hell, you want to go up to Eskimo and certain areas up there, the loose. Um, the loose, they, they, some of them is real dark skin, so they be connected, they be, uh, category is black, no, I mean, black is a, is a class of separation, division, but it's also a mean to oppress, and a selected mean to, to oppress, alright, so, but yeah, just the, the bliss, the bliss injury that came out of the Breakfast Club, um, it was just too shocking for me, um, also too, I just wanted to, uh, jump in. I know um, everybody was talking about the Twitter war with 
Trump, you know, calling out Mexico, being Mexico being the most dangerous. I mean, really, I ain't going to agree, but, I mean, he put, there's some little bit of truth in what he just said. I mean, you got northern Mexico already declared um, no-go zone. They're, they're almost, they're, like, they're like level five zones. It's like a level five uh, threat. I think that's from, you no, know, you're a level five. You're, you're pretty much like a war, um, a war-torn country. That's basically what get level five. So, and they, you know, last year, I think about, what, two years ago, they had over 50,000 killings so, uh, a couple years ago. They, this last year, they had like around 20,000 killings. But they had the most, no, they, had, they had the highest non-combatant casualties in the world. So, that lets you know they're very dangerous. Yes, the drug, yeah, they, they've been having a drug war for years. Um, um, so, I mean, that's, that's something, that's something that, you know, they're not going to stop. I mean, it's too much corruption in Mexico. It's too much corruption. They will never stop. So it would be tens of thousands of people dying every year in Mexico. So that's one thing he, I mean, he kind of got a point there. Um, if I'm going to fucking go ahead and agree and support him, no, I'm not. But, I mean, he got, I mean, that's kind of point. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, it's, it's kind of hard to try to shoot something that blatantly is the truth on that part. At least part of what he said is true. Not everything else is blasphemy, but he, I mean, he do get a little, I mean, that's, that's, I can't even argue with that. So, um, I know, but the thing about it is, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even partake to him. I think the best weapon you can is just ignore him. Just, just, just ignore him. Just ignore him. I mean, take into account, you know, he's still a very dangerous white supremacist, but just ignore him. You know what I'm saying? For, for you, as a government, who got fucking time to, to, to be on a fucking Twitter beefing? You know what I'm saying? So, get your shit, get your shit on, and, you know, fix, you know, fix your country up. So, Trump and none of these other white people don't be just talking shit on you. But if not, you know, then yes, you are. You guys are. I mean, Mexico is dangerous. That's all. That's point blank to it. So, but um, yeah, but I just wanted to jump on here real quick about the Breakfast Club. That shit was bullshit. Um, they knew damn well that she was black. Um, she had to kind of like make you know be sarcastic about being in blackface. Oh, you know, touch my skin is real. Man, no motherfucking black person should ever have to go so far to prove to another black person that they're black. If the if the evidence is clearly before their eyes, that's the that's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. So, I'm you know like I said, I mean, no nobody of color should be trying to interrogate you if you're that color. If you're if, if you're all in a boat of white supremacy, uh, white supremacy, what? Why I'm gonna get on the next person that's basically getting oppressed? I call it the lo I call it the lobster approach. You know, you know how they boil lobsters and crabs, and besides just trying to just get out of there, they they too busy fighting each other, even on the, even on the brink of death and getting cooked alive. They're gonna fight. To, they're gonna fight each other. And then, every, and then all of them get cooked, basically. That's what that's what that's what we are in. White supremacists is that fucking bowl, and we black people, melanated people, are in that bowl, and they're already simmering. It's not even boiling yet, but we're still fucking fighting, and the goddamn water that we're in is about to is about to come to a fucking bubbling hot mess. We need we need we. I'm telling you, man, we need to wake up. Um, I'm gonna hit you guys up uh, with another one, uh, to, to probably tomorrow or maybe tonight. Alright, one.